asked the question, we asked you guys uh, if you could ask Keith one question that had nothing to do with drumming, what would the answer, or what would the question be? So Keith, why are dog lips black? Why are dog lips black? <laughs> Good answer. Good answer. Uh, uh, I'll so, pass on that one. Okay. Matt Hartman wants to know if he can buy you a drink. Sure. All right, great. I like um, the Napa Cabernets, usually big and bold. Greg, Greg Jones wants to know what's your favorite beer? Oh, man, probably Guinness. Guinness. Yeah. I think that might be mine, too. I'm kind of. Wow. Not drinking beer much these days. That's actually the next question. What kind of diet or exercise <laughs> did Keith do to get in better shape? Uh, I started exercising, doing cardio, worked up to an hour a day, so I, I like to run every day if I can, whether it's outside or, or on the treadmill. And I changed my diet completely, cut out a lot of the carb, delicious stuff. Know, cut out the sugars and the sodas and the no more beers. Yeah, and eating late at night. Yeah. What are your other interests besides music? Oh well, I love uh, to go out to eat, but <laughs> now I choose my portions well. You know, my wife and I are—that's our hobby. We love traveling and we love to go out to eat. And kind of foodies, if you want to call us that, so. Do you have a favorite restaurant, say, in New York City? Oh, wow. Or one favorite restaurant in New York City? Um, Mermaid. Yeah. <laughs> what? We go to the Mermaid Inns a lot. Okay. Because <laughs> we love oysters, so we get the raw oysters and then uh, have seafood. Yes. What kind of seafood people? Well, this one's about drumming, but we'll ask it anyway, because it's a good one. So, um, Mr. Legacy wants to know, if there's one thing you could change about your drumming, what would it be? I always want my groove to be better, you know, my, just my natural time feel to be better. So that's kind of what I'm channeling all the time. Okay. Alright. Right. Dalton so says, uh, I'd say, Keith, first of all, you are a cool dude. How can I be as cool as you? Uh, <laughs> that's a good compliment. Practice! Alan, Alan Dugas wants to know, does your wife have a sister who's single? <laughs> she does. She has a twin sister, by the way. Wow. Wow, okay. And she's, she's single. single. And All she's right. a lawyer. Okay. Here's a really funny one. Uh, Matt Graham says, in the cinema, which armrest is his? Meaning, like, if you're sitting in the cinema, which one, which armrest is Oh, which is one his? is mine? Yeah. I take both. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I take it all. I'm Keith Garlock. <laughs> Why are you playing Gretsch? And, um, you know, and what would you do if you weren't playing drums? Uh, well, I'm playing Gretsch because I love the drums and always have. And I've been a, one of those closet Gretsch guys that has always played Gretsch, even though even the recordings I did with Steely Dan are all Gretsch kids and uh, many other recordings. And uh, I just, I've always just been a fan of the whole history of the instrument and the all my favorite drummers play Gretsch, and, you know. It's just, it's like a classy... And I'm sitting here from Gretsch, kind of, that's a good answer. Right? That's too. <laughs> the whole Gretsch company is in this room. If you weren't playing drums, what would you be doing? Um, Eating food at foodie restaurants. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Stomp wants to know... What did he do to get his picture as the default Vic Firth picture on Facebook for like months? Whose <laughs> palms did you took raise? Really, yeah. <laughs> I took a really cool shot. You know, just, um, Sandrine Lee, Lily's wife, took that shot and it's out on a uh, fire escape in New York City. It was really it came out really cool. So maybe that's why. I don't know. But um, I we, we were doing we were doing a contest giveaway. Right. So that was part of the promotion. Here's actually Jay Wanamaker wants to know, <laughs> who was your drum instructor when you played at the McDonald's All-American High School Band when you were in senior high school? Jay Wanamaker! <laughs> <laughs> I love this guy! Question, Aaron Hoover wants to know, how was it touring with John Mayer? Oh, that was awesome. 
I had a, I had the best time with that because, I mean, I love his music and he's, he's a very cool guy to work with. But the, just the vibe on stage was very jam oriented and and uh, just open. There was a lot of just open. Everyone got a chance to just kind of experiment with the songs and let it go different places. Yeah. He didn't want to like, you know, play the record yeah. as it is. Like, was there was, a lot of um, pre rehearsal? Not before at all. that at all, like jump That's on and go. Yeah, yeah, exactly. We had one rehearsal before the tour started. Nice. So yeah. did you even know what the set list was going to be before you jumped on stage? You know, the first show, like, well, you know, you're in that situation where you're touring <clears> and <throat> you've had one rehearsal and, you know, the set list comes up and you're like, oh boy, what's that song? Yeah. Never, I don't even know what that is. <laughs> well, the thing is, I came in, like, halfway through the tour because uh -huh. Steve Jordan left right. to, to do something else and, and uh, so I came in to finish it out. So they already kind of had a set list going, mm -hmm. but it did change. I mean, after I got there and before the show, uh, um, you know, there was a couple of tunes that he decided last minute to, to inter interchange. And so right. there's always a surprise. Yeah. So yeah. I just learned to deal with it, not freak out. Yeah. You know? Listen and go, right? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Thank you. Appreciate it.